Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Nearly everything about the Pro Bowl is different than a regular season game, and Broncos long snapper Casey Kreider provided one clear example following the AFC's walkthrough Friday. Von Miller is the backup guard on our punt team, Kreider said. Did I ever think I would have Von Miller next to me on the punt team? No. That will be a lot of fun if it happens, Kreider has been having a lot of fun during his first Pro Bowl experience which concludes with the game Sunday in Orlando. He was chosen by Chargers coach Anthony Lynn and special teams coach George Stewart to serve as the long snapper. It's been amazing, Kreider said. On top of the just the huge honor of being selected by the Chargers coaching staff, it's been fun to have my family here and be with some of the best football players in the league. The Kreider cheering section will include his wife, son, parents, sister, and in-laws Sunday. Asked if this was the culmination of his best season, Kreider said, with kind of everything we dealt with, switching punters and working with the new holder, I think I had a great year. I think I've built on every single year since I started there and hopefully I'll continue to build. The Broncos signed punter, holder Marquette King in the offseason but he lasted all of four games before Casey Wadman was signed to handle both duties. Kreider, 28, has been with the Broncos since 2016 and becomes a restricted free agent in March. Resigning Kreider should be one of general manager John Elway's easier moves. I love Denver, Kreider said. I love being there. We'll start talking contract here soon, I hope. I want to be a part of the solution and I would love to play in Denver my whole career, special teams rankings. In the 39th edition of his annual special teams rankings, veteran pro football writer Rick Gosselin ranked the Broncos 24th in an average of 22 kicking game categories. The New York Jets were first and Green Bay was last. The Broncos were last in punt returns, 4.4 yards, tied for first in extra point percentage, no misses, and tied for second in blocked kicks, 4. The Broncos were 31st last year in Gosselin's rankings. Good suggestion. Loyal reader Frank passed along a good suggestion after the Broncos hired Chris Cooper as assistant offensive line coach, signed Jawan James to play right tackle. Cooper was on Miami's coaching staff for four of James's five years with the Dolphins. Current Broncos right tackle Jared Belvier as a free agent. James, a first round draft pick, no. 19 overall, in 2013, is 26 years old and has 62 games of starting experience. Around the NFL bookshelf. Blood, sweat and chalk, the ultimate football playbook. How the great coaches build today's game, written in 2010 by Tim Layden of Sports Illustrated, this has a permanent place on our bookshelf for frequent reference. Each of the 22 chapters focuses on an innovative scheme or play, including the wishbone, Don Coriel's passing system, zone blocking, BYU's air raid offense, now common, the cover two and the zone blitz. A very educational buck. Revisiting reviews. The missed pass interference call against the Rams in their win last week over New Orleans has created the predictable noise about reviewing penalty calls or non-calls. This could be an easy fix. Make one penalty, pass interference, reviewable. It falls under the same umbrella as the other challenges. Dispute a pass interference penalty and lose, you lose a timeout. Period. If it is limited to that single type of penalty, it is unlikely to slow the game down. That nobody from the NFL office, chiefly officiating Zar L. Reverend, has spoken publicly about the botch call is a mistake. Allen still tone deaf. Redskins president Bruce Allen talked with Washington area reporters between Senior Bowl practices Tuesday, his first interview availability since the summer of 2017. It was not surprising he came off as tone deaf. We're in the middle of the pack and we've been in the middle of the pack the last three seasons. Allen said. It means you're close, no, it doesn't mean you're close. It means the Redskins are delusional as usual in believing they are on the cusp of contending. Allen, on the job since December 2009, has not won a playoff game with the Redskins. 
the organization as a whole has been chasing its tail since general manager Scott McLaughlin was fired in March 2017. Three assistant coaches have left the Redskins this month in lateral moves. Reed, Spags reunite. Chiefs coach Andy Reid fired defensive coordinator Bob Sutton two days after losing to New England in the AFC title game. He turned to a familiar face, Steve Spagnale, who worked for Reed in Philadelphia from 1999 to 2006. It could represent a philosophical shift for Reed. Spagnola comes from a 4-3 scheme tree and the Chiefs have run a 3-4 the last several years. Mayak Ankar New Raiders General Mike Mayak talked to Bay Area reporters during Senior Bowl week. The Raiders traded linebacker Khalil Mack and receiver Amari Cooper this season and coach Gian Gruden is famous or infamous for always wanting to find the next option at quarterback. Asked about Carr, Mayak said, we have to do a better job of protecting him and giving him weapons. Dot dot dot, we need to get more speed on offense. We need to be more dynamic. Derek Carr, at this point, is kind of the least of our problems, not exactly a guarantee Carr will return, but also a hint that it will take a mountain of assets to acquire him.